Hi guys, welcome back to the Devore Wild Fam. This is going to be a quick vlog. I had a request to show how I made asparagus. I don't do anything fancy. There's several ways to make them, but my family likes them this way the best. But I got to find them first. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Okay, first I got to get this in the oven. We are having a shepherd's pie, so I just got to add my potatoes on top and some cheese and bake this and I'm just gonna cook the asparagus in the pan that I cooked the ground beef in and I have some more onion I'm gonna add to it and I just cook it with some olive oil I don't need the usually I do olive oil but since it's got the grease from the ground beef you, I don't need to do that but you can use any kind of oil or you can boil them in water but I like to do it with oil just tastes better to me with some onion some garlic powder some onion powder i don't measure anything it's just to taste so that would the that would be up to you what you wanted to how much you wanted to add and these came buy one get one free so these are already cut so i don't need to do anything but usually you cut cut them in half so that they fit better in your pan and then i add some bacon to it okay so parker's gonna and i just use this bacon crumbles from costco or sam's club wherever we got it um, and then I did put about a tablespoon of minced garlic in there. You just kind of cook that for like two minutes and then add your asparagus. And really, I just cook them until they start getting brown. And then I turn the heat off. I have it on medium high. Here's our shepherd's pie about to go in the oven. So I'm going to put this in real quick. So I just baked that for about 15 minutes. And I got it out of the dining on a dime cookbook so i'll just take a quick video of the recipe because i'm way too lazy to write this all down and post it in my description box parker is still working on the asparagus over there the shepherd's pie recipe that i used one thing that was different was our can of mixed vegetables had bits of potatoes in it but that's okay i just added an extra can of peas and i did double this because there's so many people in our family well i didn't double it i kind of doubled it i used a uh, one and a half cans of tomato sauce because we had one and a half pounds of ground beef instead yeah. of one pound i used a whole big onion because i'm sure they're onion but our onions are from costco they're huge and then i still used only four cups of mashed potatoes because that stretches and then some cheese on top okay so parker is now going to add all the asparagus in and you just kind of want to lay flat. Don't put them on top of each other. So you kind of, so you can, oh, I can't talk today. So you can move them around so that they get brown. And like I said, usually I do this with olive oil. Oh, we got to add our spices too. So he's just eyeballing it. Eyeballing salt and pepper. And then we just cook these till they get brown. And they'll, they'll shrink down too. They'll start to kind of wilt. Like I said, usually I use olive oil or avocado oil or whatever we have. But since we had cooked the ground beef in it, we're just using that. Yeah, it came out. That was good, Parker. I also made some apple crisp for dessert. And of course, I had to taste it. But it is delicious. We just did the one out of the box again. Sorry, my kids are being really loud. They're chatting with their friends online. Kennedy's at Journeys with the behavioral therapist. Okay, easy, Parker, easy. He thinks because he's in a cooking class at school that he's like Chef Boyardee. <laughs> Just easy with the stirring. Chef Boyardee. Okay, yeah, so he's just going to cook those until they wilt a little bit and they brown, and then we have some asparagus. Most people um, boil them in water, but that's bland to me. These, like, give it a lot of flavor. You don't have to add onion if you don't like onion. You don't have to add bacon, but it does give the asparagus a really good flavor. So I'm going to do some of these dishes. Asparagus are cooking away. Rosie always stands here when we cook. <clears throat> the kids got my computer working. The, it wasn't charging. It's so dark in here. Adam's home from work. It's just chillaxing. Chillaxing. 
Look at all the, oh my gosh, how cute. I'm gonna take a picture and like make this my cover photo. All three cats. That is so darling. Okay, so our asparagus is done and this is what it looks like. It's all the little bits of bacon and onion. Super good. That's basically all I do. Parker added more bacon. I don't usually add that much bacon. Just so y'all know, but like I said, he's taking a cooking class in school and it's great. It's wonderful he's learning how to cook and he's being super creative, so I totally applaud that. Here's our shepherd pie all cooked up. Kennedy thought it was eggs. Okay. Are you okay? Miss Kennedy's I'm home. Sorry. Let me it see. It was an accident. Did daddy step on you? You okay? No, I'm busy. She, no, she's busy. She was on the ground and Adam accidentally stepped on her. Come on, get out of there, silly. Oh, there it is. Here. Okay. So here's Kennedy's little serving. We had some leftover salad from last night. I just gave her one asparagus because she's, she'll eat it, but she doesn't like it. Like me, Jillian, and Adam like it. But she's got lots of veggies in here anyway. There's carrots, peas, green beans, lima beans. And I think some corn was in there. But yeah, we're just gonna eat now and enjoy our dinner. Well, okay guys, that's all I got for you today. Kind of a short vlog, but that's all right. That's how we make asparagus. That's how we make shepherd pie. I highly recommend following the Dining on a Dime channel. I think they're called Living on a Dime though, and their cookbook is Dining on a Dime. Please stop. And kids. I don't know. I like their YouTube channel and I like their cookbook a lot. Super easy recipes. Stop drinking my soda. <sighs> <sighs> Alright guys, chicken tendies. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi guys. Welcome back to... Blah, blah, blah.